You are such an asshole! Greetings from the fucking Prius I got at the car rental place over at Denver International. I'm here because... Fucking Hicks. Just fucking Hicks. Look, dude, if you're my fucking age and, like, you say, yeah, man, I'm just starting painting as my new career and, like, uh, you're living out of a van, you're a fucking loser. Just saying. It's fucking hell. <laughs> Damn it. I, I was in the house of the guests and then they, they brought over a bunch of painters and now they're making a bunch of rackets so I can't. So now I have to go to the, the Prius to do our recording, which has nothing to do with our video request. And if you have a video request, you could go to assholeconsulting.com, contact me, your older brother online, give me your fucking money. Oh, and there's Gre uh, the guy. <clears throat> Dear Cappy, please keep my name anonymous. If you like, I'll gladly pay the extra amount to make this video request. Uh, that is, if you think it's an interesting topic that will be of benefit to your subscribers. I have a growing interest in call girls for various reasons, which in I will detail... I see this as a way to get my feet wet while not having to live through the modern hell that is dating. Uh, let's explain something very clearly. Bar marrying a good girl or finding yourself a good quality girlfriend, all of dating and marriage is prostitution. All of it. It's simply uh, over what amount of time do we amortize it and pay. Um, Terrence Pop does a great mathematical calculation on uh, price per hits, meaning price per instances of sex when you have a celebrity that has some kind of, um, <clears throat> oh, what do they call it, uh, divorce settlement, and he calculates sometimes it's in the tens of thousands of dollars per uh, instance of sex that rich men are paying. So let's be very clear. It's all prostitution. It's just that women and the law have made some forms of prostitution socially acceptable and others just statistic that's so bad. So... Um, I'm not. I'm not against um, um, hiring out call girls or um, getting prostitutes. My only concern is STDs. That's that's my number one concern. Otherwise, I'd be all over that crap. Um, not to mention the cost of mentally and financially, I would pay and still rarely get laid. Absolutely. Where instead, I could seek a female call girl to reach my goals. I'm a male virgin from Canada in my early twenties. Right, and you have no excuse for that. I have not touched a woman ever. Unless you count seventh grade handhold. Yeah, dude, do you, do you understand how you sound right now? You gotta... I should write the book, How to Stop Being a Fucking Pussy. Uh, in one hand, it, you're very logical to go and get pay money to get laid. I understand that. That's efficient. But um, unless you are like in war, or you're in the Bakken oil field, or you're just busting your ass off at school and college, there's no reason for you to be a, a virgin at 20, or your, your mid-20s. Um... And, and this, I have never touched a woman ever. Okay, where's your fucking dad? Did your mom fucking cut his balls off? Is he in jail? Do you even know who your dad is? You need to man the fuck up and knock it off with this sounding bullshit. All right? I don't care if that means you got to join a, a rugby league or something. Go find some manly fucking people to hang out with and see how they talk. All right? Matter of fact, you should just shut the fuck up until you learn never to talk like this again. Uh, I believe I'm fairly handsome. I'm also physically fit, albeit slender athletic. Yeah, girls don't like skinny chicks, dude. Or skinny guys, dude. You you gotta... If you're short and skinny, it's it's a death knell. I'm confident in my looks and my abilities to act to socialize around females. Yes, even dancing. I dress traditionally in what I call business attire, dress shirts. But look, and you sound like a fucking Asian with your anal retentive engineering analysis here. Well, I have this checkbox. I have this checkbox. Look at that. Dude... Women are not there for a fucking checkbox. You're there to tingle their vages. Okay? They need the VTs. They need the vag tingles. And right now, you are making them drier than the fucking Sahara Desert with this shit. All right? I know you're not inquiring about this crap, but right now, the, it, just the way you write and the way you talk, I mean, you could talk or like with guys, guys be like, eh, he's a little weird, but he's cool. Uh, but this is going to dry the pussy up right away. All right? So... Stop analyzing it. It's not a fucking engineering problem. It is not a math problem. Stop trying to approach it like that. All right? This is where art comes in. This is where flying by the seat of your pants comes in. This is where doing your own fucking shit and creating your own masterpieces of arts through whatever forms of art. It could be writing. It could be dancing. It could be athleticism. It could be anything. You let it speak for yourself. All right? And then, and then you talk about that normal conversation. Stop fucking thinking like a goddamn fucking Western nerd or an Asian nerd, and this is some kind of fucking formula program, and that I have money, check, I have a career, check, I have this, I wear that, that, that well, where, why is there a girl fucking sucking my dick right now? 
Because girls don't want to fuck a robot. Well, some of them, they don't mind toys, but it, 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 that, they're, they're not going to come after. I mean, seriously, girls are going to use a dildo before they use you. Uh, I'm clean shaven and smelling good. Suffice it to say, I am well kept. <laughs> you put this on your dating profile? I smell good. I'm currently in an advanced trades field in college without being too specific. I am set to make 70 grand when I graduate at minimum with a bright prospect for advancement. Uh, oh, that's the different guy. Uh, when I graduated out of high school, I began working in the oil fields and saving. And after all this and one year left to go in classes, I have roughly 35000 in cash free to spend outside my current college. Outstanding. Good. You got a great financial situation. I have no substantial personal assets, no medals, and zero to student debt. Great. I mean, you did it good. I mean, you went right out of high school, and you did it how you should do it. That, that, you're kicking ass in that field. I thought I would paint this picture of myself to give you an idea of who I am. I could likely meet a nice girl and do want to start a family, but I feel as though my inexperience and... See, now there, that makes sense. If you were in the Bakken oil field right out of... Uh, or not Bakken, you're Canadian, whatever the other oil field was. So you do have an excuse. But being in a place where there are no women, but you're you're like, oh, here's me and da 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 and this and that, and I have a, that, that's that's going to kill you as well. I thought I'd paint this picture of myself to give you an idea of who I am. I could likely meet a nice girl, but I feel as though my inexperience, and not to mention my crippling lack of female touch, fuck, see, and then you say creepy ass fucking shit like that, will keep me from developing skills to meet such company worthy women. Dude, are you from, like, the 1830s? Then she will, thus thou too, thine fair maiden, would you allow me to escort you to the courtship ritual? Marco found out I was a virgin and said he would show me the ropes and visit some escorts to get me acclimated to this in this late in the game. I rejected. I previously had some moral objections wishing to save myself from marriage. Oh, okay, so there, all right, that's a legitimate reason, too. If you prefer to save yourself from marriage, fine. But now I feel as though I'm leagues behind the rest. Well, you are, but... If you want to save yourself from marriage, like, okay, one of the coolest dudes I know, I won't mention his name. He's younger than me, but I look up to him. I'm like, fuck, this guy has got, he is, he's still a virgin. I think he's 24 and he's still a virgin. He's like, nope, I am not fucking these American whores. I mean, he puts it in politer language. I, I'm not fucking these American whores. I'm saving myself from my wife, and I'm going to go and kick ass and do it. And this guy is the coolest, most advanced. I mean, he, he is the epitome of, of a true man at, at such a young age. And um, and it's like it's not like he couldn't get laid or he wasn't trying to get you know I couldn't get laid I was trying to get laid and I couldn't get laid this guy doesn't care he's he is saving himself so there's nothing wrong with that if you have whatever moral or religious convictions that you don't you don't you're not gonna have sex before marriage that's fine that's fine so that's that's perfectly all right um acclimated. I rejected the moral objections to save myself from marriage, but now I feel as though I'm leagues behind the rest, and I find myself ignoring and shutting down any woman's advances. Well, okay, if you're getting women's advances and you're shutting them down, there might be a reason for that. I mean, don't trust your instincts. Do you do you want to wait till you're married? Wait till you're married. It could also be like, hey, you want to start a family? You don't want STDs. Not to give you the STD scares at virgins, perpetual, perma virgins concept. Why well, don't I get STDs? I was like, okay, yeah, fine. Enjoy life. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're, if you're ignoring them or kind of like pushing them away, just, you know, think about why you're doing that. There might be a good reason. In other words, you want to be true to yourself. If you want to wait till you're married or you're just not ready to have sex, okay, cool, that's fine. Or maybe... I mean, especially if you're in the Bakken oil field, Bakken, McMurray or wherever it is. I'm sure the women up there aren't exactly the cleanest and safest. I mean, it could just be your survivalistic instincts kicking in and saying, yeah, I don't want warts on my dick. No warts on my dick. General policy, if between the choice of having warts on dick or a wart-free dick, I will have the wart-free dick every time. So that could be it as well. Um... But now I feel as though I'm stuck, unable to move forward towards my goals of settling down. Well, dude, you're not, I mean, you're also really young. I mean, it's not like these gals are out there looking to get married. They got to get their fucking master's degree, go work 10 years, and then rush off to an in vitro fertilization thing at the age of 42 before they even think about getting married or settling down. I'm in my last year of college and was recently going through online pages for call girls in my area. I do not wish to go through the hellfire of socializing and dating the poor quality women, spending just as much to get laid as I could be spent to get some high-quality escort goddess to get me through this. My question's... 
are these here. <clears throat> uh, one, should I risk the legal penalties or monetary expense of purchasing such a girl's services at this stage of my life? Look, if this itch is that much for you to scratch, yes. But I would not risk the legal penalties, all right? I would go to Vegas. Where it's not, not, even in Vegas it isn't. You've got to make sure you're in the right county. So prostitution is legal in certain counties in Vegas. So you got to do your research on that. Otherwise, I would say it's even. I mean, you got the money. Go to fucking Amsterdam. Get yourself a high-end prostitute there. And then there, there's you don't have to worry about the legal. Because Canada, I looked it up. It's legal to sell it, but it's illegal to purchase it. And I want to give a big fuck you to you cocksucking, hypocritical, feminist fucking Nazi cunts over there in Canada. That is bullshit. Um, so you're not even going to want to risk the legal ramifications of getting uh, a prostitute in Canada. I'm sure your uncle might know somebody, uh, but if you're looking for like some kind of goddess, I'm having a feeling it's not your uncle probably doesn't know a goddess, like one of those high-end ones. So I would I would go to Amsterdam, you know, visit Europe if you haven't been there, check it out. You know, kill two birds with one stone. Two, will this venture actually benefit me towards achieving my goals as well as filling this deep void of womanly, womanly contact? Fucking hell, were you brought up by the goddamn Mormons? Womanly contact. Um, It's not going to benefit... You might know what you're doing in the bed a little bit more, obviously, but it's not going to advance you towards achieving your goals of finding a quality woman that you want to get married and have kids with. Um, I mean, yeah, I, you can have sex, and... Here's another thing. You gotta make sure wrap it up. You don't want to have an STD, and then you're trying to find an honorable, quality virgin woman that you can raise kids with and go to church with, and you got herpes. Oh, you just shot yourself in the foot there, pal. So that's another risk. I mean, based on what you want out of life, remaining a virgin isn't the worst option in the world. I mean, you know, you go out and risk it. Um, but again, you know. I'm just giving you the drawbacks. So will it benefit you towards achieving your goals? No, I really don't think so. If your goals are to find a quality gal, get married, have kids, it's not gonna it's not gonna really help you in any meaningful way. Will it fill your void for woman in contact? Yeah, temporarily, and it might even get you addicted. You might say, Holy shit, I like having sex and then you're all trying to bang a bunch of different broads and now you're nailing uh truck stop blowjob queens and then oh and then and then you're in wyoming and you're like oh why do i have a word on my dick so uh please provide any useful commentaries on the matters at hand i truly do find myself wishing i could just pick up the phone and call one of these ladies regardless of the risk thank you for that time yeah yeah look dude i mean I, I apologize. I thought you were just like one of these fucking loser virgins that didn't try, didn't go out, you know, got your ass shot down, or didn't get your ass shot down. That's the other thing. You, you were just like a, a typical virgin towel, and now you're like, ah, I want to throw it in. But since your long-term goals are that of a quality woman, and you sound religious with your weird freaky talk, uh, and you're pushing girls away, I'd, I'd heed your instincts a little bit and definitely reevaluate why you're doing that. Um, and then really ask yourself what's really important. Do you want a quality gal? Do you want to be a virgin when you're married? Do you want her to be a virgin? Are you religious? Well, nothing wrong with being a virgin. As a matter of fact, you'd be a hypocrite not being a virgin. Uh, but if you just want to get laid and you're sick and tired of this stuff and it's a scratch you got to itch, yes, but do it smartly, okay? Don't do it in Canada. Just don't. I looked. I mean, the fees are fucking five hundred to two thousand. You could go to jail for five years. Fuck you. I mean, fuck Canada. You fucking idiots. Um, I'd go to Vegas. I'd fly to a place where it is legal. I go to Amsterdam. I go to. I mean, look it up. I mean, you can go to Thailand. But remember, the risks there, pal, is you're going to a place where a bunch of guys pay these women to make their deposits. All right, and uh, you got to make damn sure they don't got any STDs or so. And that's worth spending a ton of money on. Uh, a lot of people think, oh, prostitution is expensive. No, getting married and divorce is way more expensive. So you got a lot of money. I would, I mean, don't blow no fucking 10 grand on this bullshit. You know, five, I don't know what the rates are. Um, I guess a thousand bucks or higher. So we're between a thousand and two thousand would probably be a good, you know, clean prostitute. Do your research, do it where it's legal, do the high end. So you don't have to worry about STDs or any kind of crap like that. Get it done and over with. Fly back to Canada and then start looking for a quality wife. That's what I would do. So, anyway, hope that helps out. Best of luck to you. Toodles.